Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today I'm doing a little unbagging video, unboxing video if you like, of a couple of pieces I purchased from JBKFE. I think I got that right. Um, yeah, so I got these a little while ago and um, they've been just sitting there waiting patiently for me to have a look at them and then put them... Um, Actually, I'm going to wrap these ones up and give them as presents. So uh, they're just waiting for me to do that. So I thought I would show you them first because I know the lady that's going to receive these won't mind that I do that. So um, anyway, so uh, yes, I'm going to show you these couple I purchased from JB, JBKFE. I've got to slow down when I say that. But um, if I can find the links, I will add them. But I haven't been successful. I'm trying to find my email. I'm, it's in a sea of emails, and I've, I think it's gone and lost forever. But uh, I will add the website link for you guys to have a look at that. Alrighty. So I'll quickly just show you these two today, because I thought they were kind of neato, and that we can share. We can share. So this one here, I thought was rather, rather, rather beautiful, actually, and rather adorable as well. Have a look at this one. Coming with our standard little tray kit thingy. I've got to look after that one. I can't just go flinging it around. Um, and this one has some round drills. And there we go. Have a look at this fellow. Isn't this gorgeous? Now this one is a picture of a llama. And, she, and he, she's got a beautiful little headdress there of flowers. Isn't that beautiful? And I have uh, 23 colours in total. Isn't that pretty? That's lovely, isn't it? And I've got all my little symbols being letters, and I've got DMC coding, and I've got chart up on the top left and the bottom right of the canvas. There we go. Full drill, nicely done. Um, the print looks nice on this one as well. Full spring loaded, it's a little bit of a firmer canvas. Nice and good cover of the glue. Just sort you out just a little bit. There we go, just so we can have a bit of a better look. I hope too much. Try to put all these lights on and so forth. Um, can you just relax just a fraction more would be good. Just a little bit. Oh. There we go. Now, do you want to stay for me? No, you don't really, do you? But anyway, um, I'll just bring you down a little bit closer if I can. So you can have a look at the drilling field of this one. Now it's going to keep uh, rolling up, so I'm going to have to sort of try and hold it down. I've got something here I can put out. You hold that. There we go. I'm holding one end down with something, so that's a bit better. Now, as you can see, I've got a fairly good print on my drilling field uh all letters so that's nice and clear and easy to read got some nice flowers up here in its headdress beautiful soft colors i like this um background colors quite pretty isn't it that sort of peachy tone it's all nice sort of soft pastel nice color um have a look at the charting, if I can get that into space. There we go. So you can have a look there. Um, I've got my numbers running down for my 23 colours, all the way down to the bottom there. And then I've got all uh, my symbols, which are all letters, and some DMC codes. And I'm going to try and figure out which way I'm going today. I'm going to go out a bit now. Is that in shot? There we go. I think I've got it all. My stand's in the way of seeing if I'm at the bottom of my screen or not. 
So hopefully I've got all 23 there for you guys to have a look at. And these are printed quite nicely on this side, so they're coming across nicely as well onto the canvas. So there we go. Now it's quite a mixed background too, so you can still do a lot of blocky work and, and so forth like that um, with your multi-placer if you like to use those, which I enjoy doing. Um, you'll still be able to do that, but some of it sort of sparkles a little bit um, between the two symbols, the F and the X. But they're very easy to read because they're not too close together, which is nice. Uh, yeah, not too bad. A little bit. Don't mind my paddle holding the end down. Put that in there where it's got a little bit more darker colours, but still not too bad to read. They've gone back into the negatives and so forth, so that's quite good. Yeah, all in all, that's a pretty nice little canvas to read. There we go. Pop that one just to the side for a minute. We'll have a quick look at some of the drills that we have with this one. Where, we at? Where is the opening? I like this sort of uh, peach colour, I guess you call it. It was an apricot. Peach for apricot. I don't know. Can't make any more. Some more, more apricot for background. I'm sure looking at the drill. Get this out, make sure it's all here and good. Number one. Let's have a quick look at the drills. They are round. They're fairly close, aren't we? That's all right. How's that? Pretty good. Um, not a lot in each packet, but we've got lots and lots of different shades of our neutral greys and so forth to have a look at. And then we go into um, a bit of pink there, or mauve, and then this background colour. It's really pretty. I said, so what you call it, a peach or apricot, more apricot-y sort of colour. And then you've got that shade and then you go into this sort of slightly darker shade. Going back into the neutral. All curly really. A little bit of uh, mint green. Some sort of smoky rose pink. Shades of blues, pretty greens, and so on, and even a little bit of mauve. There we go, and then some creamy colours. So that's the 23 colours for that one. It's quite nice, that short. Nice, soft, sort of pastel colours. There we go. So that is the round drills for that one. There's my little llama. No drama for the llama. Just pop him to the side. Righty go. Go into the next one. All right, next one is this little fellow, another 30 by 40. We've got two 30 by 40s to have a look at today. Now this one's a little bit different. I thought it was quite pretty though. Again, we've got some nice soft colours. And this one is also a round. I've got the same little uh, toolkit, basic little toolkit. I'll just pop to the side today. And I've got some nice round drills packed the same. And I've also got another very uh, sort of heavy canvas. So it's a bit springy. I'm going to zoom out just a bit more if I can. There we go. Mine all the rubbish on the sidelines. Running out of space these days. That's a little paddle thing I was using to hold down the end. <laughs> um, 
So there we go. This is a beautiful anime image of this lady here with her butterflies and so forth. And I really like the colours in it. It's very neutral, but pinks and beautiful colours and that. So it looks really nice. This one here also has 23 colours. So there you go. Two 23 colours in my 30 by 40s today. nice size it's got some nice detail I, I mean with the anime face you don't have to have too much um i suppose correct facial features and so forth but you're going to get enough here with the eyes i think and the hair flow and things like that so hopefully she's got her um sword going through here and all her butterflies i'm just going to give that a little bit of an, a relax just to relax the canvas it's kind of thick and a little bit um, reluctant to lie down I'm just gonna get a little bit of encouragement there this is actually my stirring stick for my resins and so forth, but I've been actually using it for paints and God knows what. But it's just sitting on the table, so now it's going to be a straightening tool for <laughs> the canvas. Because why not? It works pretty well. There we go. That's a little bit better. And it also has a little bit of weight to it, so it can help hold that end down. Uh, there we go. So that's quite a nice little image. It's a 30 by 40 canvas with 23 colours. Uh, it comes with a little thumbnail and everything at the top. More information is at the top of your canvas. Very small thumbnail. Uh, we have our numbers down the side and we have just letters for symbols, which I like. And I've also got DMC coding as well. So there we go. That's a nice little one too. Let's have a bit closer look. Just a bit closer look at the actual drilling field and so forth for you. And some details around her face there. I think it should hopefully, fingers crossed, come up all right. You can see that arm. Make all that out pretty well. The butterflies are nice throughout it. So hopefully they come up pretty well. But the drilling field itself uh, looks nicely printed. They're using some of the negatives in the dark colours. Not too hard on the eye, I, I think. And yeah, if you like to use a multiplayer, so this one is also something you could use on that because it's got quite a bit there, as you can see, of, uh, of, a, of single symbols and things like that. Not too much in the confetti and so forth. So it should be a pretty easy one to sort of work on in that regards not too much fussing now i'll just quickly show you a little bit closer to that table uh, i'm showing you the one on the bottom left of the canvas at the moment and it's got as i said um letters for symbols and dmc coding which is all printed nicely there you go bit of shine there 23 colours in total. Not too bad though. Easy enough to read. Nice and simple. Um, as I said, you've got these sort of darker areas, but they're using the negative print as well, so I think it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of halos around some of the print, but it's reasonably good. When you've got to think about that these are sort of budget-friendly type canvases anyway, so you, can, you know, you are getting what you pay for and all that sort of, sort of thing. Yeah, not bad at all. Alrighty. So that's my little anime lady. I think she's quite lovely. 
I like the colours, all very pink, so I suppose we're going to have a lot of pinks and plums and so forth in our drills, but we can have a look at those. And uh, yeah, we've covered that. That's uh, also another tail on the top. What is it? <laughs> I've got to think now. So yeah, it's pretty groovy. Pretty groovy. So I'll give you a quick rundown of these pretty drills. I'm sure we've got some nice ones in here. I've got the blue packaging once again, and I like this one with the big numbers. It's nice and easy to read when I've got those big numbers on there. It makes it, I don't know, my eyes are getting bad. And uh, I need all the help I can get, basically. So see big symbols like that on your bag I think that's awesome because it just helps me identify it really quickly and easily and just it's just a bit better I like that because sometimes like the other one there I was getting a bit confused nearly on uh, what letters were what because the product or whatever you call it um, the number basically for your canvas and the number for the bags were all the same size or, or the same print size if you know what i mean so i was just reading across and i was th nearly got the numbers mixed up if you know what I'm, i don't know i'm rambling but you know what i mean so this one's very distinct that it's a nice big number so i like that anyway moving on uh here we go we're going to have a look at this train of i think it's going to be lots of pinks and mauves and we might get a little surprise of green by the looks of it. But I think that's just in the butterflies. But yeah, if you like mauve uh, and purpley colours, this is definitely going to be a nice canvas for you. Beautiful, pretty colours. Lots of shades. A little bit of, say, you've got some greeny tones there just to break it up. And I think pink and green is lovely together, so that's nice. Some of these sort of more neutral... I don't know, burgundy's nearly into, not burgundy, more plum, sorry, sort of colours. And I've got another little piece here, which is a bit bent. Uh, so I've got two bags of the 23, so I should technically go that way. I'll show you those two. And then I've got two bags of the 23, which is the white background. There you go. That's not too bad at all. I keep spinning it all over the place trying to look at it. Uh, yeah, so there we go. That's all the information you get on the bags. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to tidy that one up real quick. Pop it back in its baggie. They look both very nice. Um, as I said, I did get these ones from JBFKE. I'm sure you can get them elsewhere, but uh, yeah, and I will put the website link. I'll try and find these products. I was having trouble trying to find my email to find the link to that for you guys. But anyway, I will endeavour to find again to find that before I post this up, but I don't know. I just might not be lucky with all the things going on, but I will try. If not, it's, it's not the end of the world, I don't think. We shall move on. There's lots of things on the website to check out, so have a look at those as well. I'm sure you can find some nice things on there. It's a nice little website. I like shopping there. And I got these two from there, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did actually buy these ones. I thought they were quite nice, and there was quite a few other ones I liked. So I'm sure I'm going to go back and grab a couple more in the near future but yeah these two are very nicely done um, nice little 30 by 40s they've got some nice looking drills they're round drills and yeah i'm pretty happy with those and they've got little basic kits but you know they're enough to get you started and we all go on to our favorites later on anyway there we go so that's my two um, that i got to share with you today so i hope you enjoyed looking at them i think they're rather pretty and yeah Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Until then guys, be well, be safe and uh, yeah, have a great day. Till the next video, I'll see you then. Bye for now.